Hi, this is Digital Byte Computing. We're going to look at the steps on how to set up your Mac uh, to back up via Time Machine to a uh, Netgear ReadyNAS device. So this is assuming that you've got a Mac configured. I'm running the latest uh, Yosemite version on my Mac, so I'm going to be using uh, the latest version that I've currently got, which is, just to sort of show you, 10.10. Uh, Point three, okay. That is my version, uh, and I'm running a the latest version at the time of the ReadyNAS software and the firmware. So just may, maybe make sure that you've got the latest uh, ReadyNAS firmware installed, just so that it will be as seamless as possible uh, and and the most bug free as possible. Now, how we want to start is by logging into your ReadyNAS into your web portal. So you should know the IP address of your ReadyNAS. Go and put that in and log in. You'll be presented with your standard window, so your overview, etc. Uh, and then on the top, you'll see backup listed. Now, under backup, you've got backup, backup button, time machine, cloud storage. We're going to be selecting time machine. So go and open that up. And now, what we want to do is we want to go and configure this time machine, private time machine backup to work on your system preferences here with Time Machine. So currently it's switched to off uh, and we want to set this up accordingly. So let's go in and create a new private Time Machine. So each user on the system can, be, can have a dedicated private Time Machine allocation to back up their Apple Mac. So what we can do here is we can set up multiple Time Machine backup locations if you have multiple Macs in your in your home or in your business to back up to that ReadyNAS device, okay? And you can actually allocate how big you want it to be. Shared Time Machine, uh, as the name suggests, Shared Time Machine allows all users to back up and restore their Macs from one shared location. So we're not gonna be using this, so I'm gonna untick that and apply. We're just gonna be using this one here. So let's go to add. Now this is my details, but you should have your username listed in there and then you want to set up your capacity. 500 gig is what I've got here. So how big do you want your uh, storage to be uh, for your time machine backup? So let's just say I want it to be 1,500 uh, gigs, so it's 1.5, roughly 1.5 terabytes. And we say add. Oops, sorry, we've got to select the username, all right, and then say add. So that's now going to allocate 1,500 gigabytes to my time machine, all right? Consumed is zero bytes, zero, because nothing's been done just yet. So now that that is all up and running, we are now also assuming that your ReadyNAS and your Mac that you're going to be doing the Time Machine backups from are on the same network and they can communicate with each other. Make sure that they can communicate with each other, you can access the shares, etc. So on your Time Machine, let's go to Select Backup Disk here. Actually, before we do that, let's just turn it on. You should now see here Edi Aguero's Time Machine, which is the drive that we just connected. So we want to select it and click on Use Disk. It's now going to ask me for my credentials to that ReadyNAS, which I will put in. So these are the login credentials to log in as an admin, right, to your ReadyNAS. And that is it. So now that has connected to it, it's already detected 1.5 terabytes and 1.5 terabytes available. It's now going to go and look up uh, any older backups, latest backups, which is none because it hasn't run yet. And the next backup will kick off in this much time. You can actually force to kick it up, kick it off as well by just going up to here and saying backup now. But that is the essential process. So that, now that is going to go back up accordingly to this time machine, which is situated on this ReadyNAS device. As it's backing up, you will see consumed that will go up accordingly. 
Uh, and that is it. So that is the entire step on how to configure your time machine on your Mac to back up to a ready NAS, uh, NAS device. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up on my channel. Subscribe to my channel, Digital Bike Computing, for a whole bunch of more videos. Thanks for watching.